Hello. I've recently been at Deer Shed Festival, which I'll put a picture and a link in the description. And we were exhibiting, showcasing, demoing modular synths to to the public. And Deer Shed is a really family-friendly festival. Lots of children around and parents, effectively. Um, and me and Myla Melodies went and exhibited modular stuff in the science tent. So this is the system that I used. I wanted to go through it. This is a Glasgow Make Some Noise, or GMSN, a 12U slipper case. It's tucked in the top bit is a controller that we will come to. And I just wanted to run through the setup and what we actually did. Uh, this 16N controller that I will come to was super useful. But actually having this 12U case with the top part empty meant that we could actually show people and explain what modular synths are in the, the empty case, the rails, the power system, and that you build your own instrument. So let's get a look at this case. We'll get it turned on and check out what we did at the festival. So here's the system that I was demonstrating at Deer Shed Festival. And bearing in mind this was for kids and probably people not into modular in terms of the adults and parents and things that were there. I put everything on at this 16N open source controller. I'm going to make a separate video about this thing, but I'll just go through what I had and why I chose it to actually use this demo to the public. So controller aside, I'm using grids to sequence my drum parts. Nice, easy way to get familiar beats and patterns that's just going to work for people to come and play with. Now I put these controllers for the amount of kicks, snares and hats onto this slider. So we can move the sliders, choose a beat, or the kids that just want to rag stuff around get more frantic channeling in a AFX twin within the kids more frantic beats the actual drums themselves is the endorphins black noir they will have videos coming with this soon as well this is a production unit so there'll be demo videos to come with this exact thing but I put some of the parameters for the drum sounds on the controller as well including the crushing of the noise the filtering. And the reverb. Which just makes it really playable. Doing a drum fill. That's my drum chain coming into the Sputnik 6 channel mixer. I just needed a mixer and this one was to hand. I'm not doing any of the CV panning, but I wanted mute switches. I was using my Bifaco mixer and WMD elsewhere. So I wanted mute switches, obviously volume control, and I thought the headphone out would be useful, but I ended up going with an output module anyway. So next channel is Platts. Again, just a simple synth where I know that people can just turn the knobs and it'd be fine. I'm not having to go through VCOs into filters or folders or cross mod or FM or actually patching anything up. We could just turn. And get some control on there. Now Tuesday is the sequencer. Those that watch my content will know I really like Tuesday anyway. Uh, videos for all this stuff in the description if I've got video demos for it. So Tuesday's doing the sequencing. But the controls for Platts are on the controller as well. So the mode. And then some of the other controls. The kids really like the robot voice at the festival. That's Platts. A couple of samplers so they could skip through and play with some sounds. 
pitch knob on the tip top ones. This is the TG one. And the normal tip top audio one, cycling through sounds. Just a way of going, oh, there's a cow, there's a bell, there's something else. And all in time. I then put controls for the ZDSP reverb. And I probably should have just put this on one fader, but I've got dry wet, reverb time, reverb tone. It was quite nice and performable in game, especially children, but adults came and had a play as well. Just go and turn this one up, turn these up. Making little transitions and drum fills. Now the next controls, the first orange one is the time of the sample slicer from Ginkgo Synthes. That was really fun for everyone too. We'll come to that in a second. These three control a 2 HP freeze. This one at the down sampling. Kids pretending to DJ, holding their hands on their ears like they've got headphones on and sliding that around was good fun. This is serving as a gate on and off. And this is just 16 outs on this controller, not to five volts on each slider. So I turn that up, it's five volts, turn that down, it's zero. It's zero and everything in between. So gate on, turns the freeze on. And then that's the size of the buffer. little 2 HP mic inlet from Ginkgo Synthes into the sample slicer was good fun. So let me just say something into that mic and get it recorded. Deer Shed Festival. Deer Shed Festival. And you can see there I've got Deer Shed, Deer Shed Festival. Festival in there. Deer Shed Festival. Pitch. Deer Shed Festival. Length. So as a combination, it worked really well, and I just thought I'd share a video about it. So grids, sequencing my drums, Black Noir being the drums, Tuesday sequencing Platts, Platts being the synth sound, Wobbler and Edge Cutter with a little bit of internal modulation I ended up not using, the sample slicer and separate little mic input. This was going through Aperture. It was just really great fun for everyone to come and have a play with. Reverb over everything and just made it a really good system for demoing modular and letting people come and have a play freely. The controller was a godsend because this is a bit chaotic to someone that's not seen it before and these tendrils cables were super useful to get this flat as well. And before I had the controller plugged in, which is the really messy bit of wire, I got really tidy and got really anal with it, making a nice tidy flat system. This was my system that I was demoing or exhibiting or showcasing modular to the public and attendees at Deer Shed Festival in the science tent. It was great fun. That's it. Cheers for watching.